Hey guys, Glucia here, picking up right where we left off in Borderlands, and I am taking on Mad Mel. So you just have to drive like as if you're going to leave, and then the gate comes down. And before you get a chance to take out Mad Mel, there's going to be a bunch of these uh, just regular vehicles you have to deal with first. Oh, you son of a crap, you flipped me over. Oh man, my health is already so low in the vehicle. Oh no! So you have, to, you have to destroy a certain amount of these regular vehicles before you can take on Mad Mel. And also, uh, while that's happening, there's a bunch of regular guys, like mostly midgets, uh, coming out of these like caves and whatnot. So, oh, no, 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 no. No, I was just about to get out because I knew that was going to happen. Okay, quick, where is he? What? Hello? Oh, there's a guy. We go. Quickly reload, quickly reload, quickly reload. God, it takes forever to reload this. Alright, that should bring Mad Mel out. I don't think, I think that's, yeah, there he is. I'm gonna try my new uh, SMG. Oh, let's put this down. Oh, right as he kills me. Nice. Oh, and then it makes the damn thing go away. Fail. Get over here. Get, get over here. Reload faster, reload faster. Oh, burning cycle winning. <laughs> there's not a whole lot of times that you're happy to see a burning psycho, but that's definitely one of them. Oh my god, there's so many missiles. Oh, I'm dead again. Take out this regular vehicle. Oh god, reload, 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 reload. I'm so close. Where's the regular vehicle? I can't see. It's dark. Oh, poop. He was like a sliver. A sliver! Okay, it's alright. We spawn right here. We can quickly get into a vehicle. Finish this off. Yeah, it cost me some money, but... We can get in here and... Get some, get some work done. Trying to get rid of the annoying regular guy first. Come on, come on, hit him! Whoa! I'm stuck. I'm stuck. You don't want to stop moving in this game. Get, get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Wow, Mad Mel got back to full health. My ass. How did that happen? What the? Uh, die! Uh. Oh come on! There we go. What now, son? All right. I don't think I've ever faced him alone and not died. It's almost like a requirement. Because <laughs> there's. There's just so much going on, and if you don't have a gunner to actually do the work, uh, it's, yeah, it's bad. Ugh, these regular guys. I'm gonna die from these regular guys. Because this freaking jerk in the rocket thing isn't even coming out. He's just sitting there and pelting me. God, this thing is stupid. Look how accurate the spread is even that far. This sniper rifle is awesome. Hold on, it's experiment time. Look how tight that is from way over here. Look at that. This is going to be devastating. My God. I'm going to use this sniper rifle for a long... I do that every time. I always forget that you have to jump on this little tiny thing. God, that's a good sniper rifle. I'm actually going to work on leveling up my sniper rifle for once. You catch a rat. All right, so anyway... Takes care of Mad Mel. Let's take our uh, behinds to New Haven as I do flips for no reason. Do a barrel roll. I like how this game like renders stuff so like the grass grows as you get close to it. Like you can see it grow. Blah 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 blah. Yeah yeah yeah. Let's go claptrap. Open the door. Open the door. Jeez. Alright, New Haven. So, in a lot of ways, this is kind of like where the game... You could either... I would call this, like, the next chapter in the game, right? Like, everything leading up to now is, like, the first part of the game, really. Because uh, here, the game takes on a whole... 
a whole new whatever. Like this, it's just like a whole new beginning for the game. So from here on out, New Haven is kind of like the base of like where you're going to go to a lot of time. But there's so many areas that you're going to go to from here. There's but tons of quests. There's a ton of stuff to do. Um, so yeah, this is kind of like where the game takes like a whole new chapter pretty much all the way till the end of the game itself. Yes. Store deck upgrade. Where is it? Wait. Oh, that's the one with the weapon. Aha. That's right. I don't even have a weapon that I want because I pretty much sold everything else. But when I get a weapon that I like, I can have four of them now. So that's rad. Uh, the first quest that you get when you come here, the one that I just picked up, this crazy chick, is um, to turn the power on for the people. You got to, like, click on all these uh, various generators. So I'm going to bang that out real quick. I'm also going to accept the quest from the Claptrap real quick because I can do that while I'm turning on the generators. Check the machines because you never know. It's a whole new area, so you know there's a chance that you're going to find some pretty decent stuff just right out of the machines right away since we're finally getting to a new machine. Okay, or a new machine, new area. All right, so for the repair kit, I, there's a couple ways you can get up there. I like to go from the, uh, the tires to here on this tire, and then up here onto the roof, and then to the blue roof where the secret gun is later in the game, and then to here, and there's your repair kit. So la di da, and then while you're over here, there is a generator to turn on. Biggity bam! And I'm gonna sprint my way over to here. Turn this in. This is one of the clap traps that not only improves your uh, storage, but it also reveals a uh, hidden area for you for some weapons. Typically, you're not gonna use the weapons, but you know. You never know. You may give you something good. That's why I like to do this one right away. Because the likelihood that I'll actually use this weapon is higher. Crouch. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> these things happen. Alright. This generator opens these doors over here. Which leads to another area that you eventually have to go to for one reason or another. The rest of them are over yonder. Sprint, sprint, sprint. Next one's outside. Just kind of like want to get this one out of the way. And then I can accept all the quests from Scooter and from uh, the board and all that stuff. Which is... What opens up a whole bunch of... Where is it? Oh, no, that's right. It's, like, way over here. Um, and then... Yeah, you'll see. Hold on. Whoa. Also, the dude, if you remember away from the beginning of the game, that drops you off in the bus, his store is here, and you get a couple quests from him as well. All of which, like I said, are side quests, and majority of them you don't have to do to beat the game. And you could skip a lot of these if you just wanted to fast forward to the second playthrough like some people do. But like I said, I'm trying to do them all. Okay, so for this one, explosive barrel, fence thing. You're going to have to jump on the lip of this to make your way up here. And biggity bam. More weapons that I don't need. Although static weapons can be nice, but I don't need that and we drop through the roof for the last generator all right play this game a decent amount so pretty much remember how to get to everything at this point okay so seek out tanis that is a story quest that definitely has to happen uh tanis is the crazy chick that we've been listening to on and off and she oh something something all right, yeah, tons of quests, tons of quests, going to all kinds of areas, including areas that we've already been in. We gotta go all the way back to um to what's his name? B K, J K. Hold on. Whoop! Why am I going to talk to you? I'm gonna talk to Scooter real quick. He's the one that's gonna give us the quest to go check on, check on our buddy. Hold on. 
There he is, TK, that's his name. TK. So that I'm gonna do that quest real quick. I'm not there's two quests in the original area that you have to do. The TK one and then the moth. Which I'm not whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go to the new U station and teleport there. I'm not gonna do the moth one yet, because that can actually be a little bit challenging. I'm gonna wait on that one for a minute, but I am gonna go all the way back to Firestone to check on TK. It's a rel it's a relatively easy quest. And even though again it's not required, it gives you some storyline on what's happening to people that we've already talked to and stuff like that. And it gives you an opportunity to actually go into his house and uh which we previously never got to do. So we'll just go do that real quick. Why do I have the pipe quest selected? Let's select that one. Since it's the one that we're doing. Man, this new sniper rifle. So devastating. Oh, I picked up a weapon and it automatically slotted it. The uh, sh crappy shotgun that I didn't want. 25 times 9. This one's 25 times 11. So I guess just to have something there, I'll put that there. I won't actually use it, but... <laughs> it's a shame. Like, I really want to focus on combat rifles. It's good to focus on one thing so that you have one really good go-to weapon uh, when it comes time for you know, the final boss or any of the, you know, more difficult bosses you run into, it's good to just have a really good weapon that your proficiency is really high on. But when you get a good weapon like that SMG that I got, or that sniper rifle that I got, it makes you really want to use it, and then you're not going to work on the proficiencies for the one weapon that you really want to work on. Oh, no. Where is he? He's usually sitting right here. Hello, and oh, no. Spoiler. But it gives us access to his back porch, where he's got... A weapon crate. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. <laughs> oh, I actually need grenades. I don't need any of that. And then there will be some dudes showing up here that I guess were what did him in. Which are actually, you know, level appropriate for the quest itself. Oh, you saw? Wow, I was like full health. He put in two hits and that was it. Why are psychos so OP? Critical hit. Give me all that. So there you have it. TK is dead. <laughs> so, um, let's see. I could wrap it up here, but that so far we haven't really done a whole lot in the qu uh, in this episode. I wouldn't mind making a slightly larger episode. So I guess we can run back and quickly bang something else out. Let's make our way to the teleporter. Like I said, the moth quest is also in this area. I guess the smart thing would <laughs> to do would be to do both of them since I'm already here. But uh, I really don't want to do the moth quest just quite yet. So we'll just head back to something's hitting me. New Haven. There it is. Okay. And hurry up. Oh, my God. Load New Haven. All right. He's very sad about this news, by the way. Very upsetting. Okay. Let's get a car. And we'll bang out some more quests. So, a good one. We could just do, like, the story quest, actually, all it really does is get you to talk to an important character. And then she'll give you another one to talk to another important character. So, you could just do that right away. Um, but I am just going to do a couple of these easier quests here. The, this playthrough obviously is taking a while because this is a pretty big game and I wanted to do everything. Shut up, Tannis. No one wants to talk to you right now. Hurry up and let me in! Stop dancing! There's bandits over there. I don't know why they're so close to town and no one's doing anything about it, but whatever. So, oh, once you reach level 5, you can unlock your character's action skills. Did you know that? Did you? Man, that's useful information. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So this is the poop quest. It's literally what it's about. 
I drove right between them. That was hilarious. Whoa. So we'll bang this poop out. <laughs> There's actually, there could be some good items here. There's a lot of weapon chests and stuff like that. So this is a nice little pit stop for a quest. Oh, end the rack, really? Get, get out of here. Where, get out of here. Dealing with bandits like this guy. Okay. Boom. This thing is awesome. Yeah. All kinds of storage here for all kinds of items. Money, money, money. Usually this is pistols. Uh, except for today. Alright. <laughs> Make me look like an idiot box. Thank you. Who shoot me? Boom. If the fire rate for this was even like point one faster, it would just be so over the top. Because it's already so powerful, but it definitely balances that by whoa. It definitely balances that by having a slow firing rate. So if it if it isn't a one shot kill, the time it takes for that second shot takes a second. So it's definitely how they balance the weapon. You're dead. Okay, I don't need any. What the frigger? Where'd that even come from? Oh, you son of a crap! Thank God for second win. All right, poop. Blocking the pipes. There we go. No longer stinks in New Haven. I'm a hero. I'm like trying to find this vault and like change humanity and stuff. And then like they're like, oh, while you're at it, can you clear the poop out of the pipe? Like you end up doing so much random crap. Why am I looking for ammo? I have ammo regen. I just get ammo. I really should buy storage uh, upgrades for my ammunition though I bought it for like some of my key weapons but then weapons like the sniper rifle is still default and I can only hold uh, 48 rounds that's well 42 plus whatever I have whatever the sniper rifle itself holds that's really low okay um you know what let's just go to Tannis why as well that way you can see where she's at and bugs Spider ants. It's definitely not the first time you'll run into spider ants. They're everywhere. I'm going to stop here real quick because there's actually a journal entry here. So I might as well get it while I'm here. Thank you. Boom. Yeah. It's an act of more listening to her craziness. I'll, I'll shut up. Okay, I like listening to her insane ramblings. Even though I've heard her talk so many times now, because I've played this game so many times, uh, she never gets less crazy. You know what I mean? And she's, and it's it's fun to listen to those and and hear how she gets progressively more and more crazy. Like what Pandora does to people, because she really does completely lose her damn mind. I love when they're in the middle of their threatening speech and you just shoot them in the face. You're like, okay, I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> I just started shooting. I'm like pre-firing. I heard the psycho talk and I was like, God, not again. If those guys sneak up on you. It's a wrap. They're so powerful. Okay, shotgun. That's better than the one I have now. So I'll switch that out just because. Uh, if I can find it, was it no, it definitely wasn't that one. It's one of these white ones. 
I guess it's farther down. There she is. Again, I probably won't use it, but since I have a weapon slot, <clears throat> might as well might as well equip it. Okay, pit stop completed. Onward. Uh yeah. This way. Whoa, mine the barrels. There's like corrosive barrels and whatnot all over the place. You slam into one of them in your vehicle, it'll explode and you will die. And since you're by yourself in an area that you just happen to slam into a barrel, there's nothing for you to get second chance on. I've died a couple times like that, not paying attention. All right, Tannis doing a little story quest, actual needed questing. So the area leading to her is littered with all kinds of nonsense. Uh, there's going to be a lot of spider ants, some rack. She lives in a hostile area. What? What? Wow. Health. Something. Oh, there he is. God. Dang it. Okay. That's that. <laughs> Should be a few more that'll come up as I get closer to here. And then the rack get into the fight as well. Whoa. Why the ground just shake? Something big show up? Oh, there he is. I was going to say a badass something or other must be showing up. The ground shaking. Okay, with it. In case you don't know about the spider ants, the their face is heavily armored, and typically that's not. Jeez, I just got demolished by those rats because I had I was reloading. They're dropping a lot of health for me though. Thank you, little bugs. But yeah, so shooting them in the face isn't gonna really do a lot of damage. You want to shoot them in the butt. That's their uh, their weak spot. But you can shoot them with a, especially a powerful weapon like a revolver or a sniper rifle, will daze them and make them turn sideways, and then you can shoot them in the butt. But even with a weapon like this, if you just shoot them enough in the face, it'll kind of make them turn around. Or if you're just firing enough rounds, some of them will find their way past the uh, their face and still become critical hits go past them and hit them in the I guess it's actually the thorax but you know <laughs> for lack of better whatever it's their butt all right you get to meet the crazy chick face to face hello crazy chick and then she's just gonna tell us to go meet crazy Earl who is crazy not as crazy as she is though she should be called crazier Tannis or I don't know. If Crazy Earl is crazy, then she's completely psycho. But there are some good weapon chests. Wow, I'm full. Sweet. All right, let's find some cheap, useless crap to get rid of. Uh, 555, 6.98, 6.98, $28. Seriously, I found that recently. Yeah, because all of these should be over a thousand dollars in value. So yeah, there's some good weapon chests out here so I'm just gonna scoop those up and then that'll be a good way to wrap this up although I'm not gonna speak with crazy Earl in the next episode the next episode I'm gonna go to uh, if you remember back when we had to go into the cave to get the 50 um, shock crystals there's another quest just like that in a cave where this time around we'll, we'll be trying to collect corrosive crystals and there's some other side quests to do in that same cave so, uh, a shock shotgun. What's this one? Oh, it's actually decent damage. And I can almost use it. I'm about to level up, so I'd be able to use it soon. What's the value? A lot more than most of what I'm holding. So let's find some, let's find some cheapies. Anything below a thousand, just chuck it. There we go. This is the other reason why a lot of people skip and just do the second playthrough because that way when you're doing all these side quests you're finding so much uh stuff in the way of you know weapons and shields and so on and so forth that you know are items of value 
that you're going to want to pick up. And you end up having to do a lot of this pick and choose that I'm doing right now where you have to drop stuff to make space. I can only hold 21 items. There's one and two that are below a thousand. So, you, you, I mean, yeah, it's more money because I'm dropping the cheapy stuff, but you still, you know, obviously if I could have sold all of them, I still would have made a couple grand off all that crap I just had to drop. So that's another reason why some people like to do the second playthrough and just kind of fast forward through the first playthrough, but... It's all right. Trials and tribulations of playing this game. It's all part of it. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to head back to town to turn in the Up to Our Ears quest. Because that's also, like, in town is the area where you're going to get into the cave and stuff like that for the next episode. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. As always, always appreciate and love the support and then join me on the next day as we go into these corrosive crystal caves there's a lot of uh nonsense and mayhem going on in there and uh it's a lot of fun there's bugs and bandits alike it's it's kind of like this first one except instead of skag this time it's bugs and there's still a healthy amount of bandits uh, including uh, a boss bandit that's a quest, and he's a boss midget. You don't want to miss the boss midget. So I'll see you guys next day.